Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here. And in today's Red Dead Redemption 2 video, we're going to be talking about the real reason why Arthur Morgan was never mentioned in the first Red Dead Redemption game. Now, I know what some of you guys are going to be saying right now. Well, it's obvious why Arthur is never mentioned in the first Red Dead Redemption game. And some of you guys are going to point to the fact that Arthur at the time didn't exist. And that is 100% true. When Rockstar was creating Red Dead Redemption, obviously Arthur Morgan, since he only appears in Red Dead Redemption 2, they certainly didn't think of this character when they created Red Dead Redemption. But what I want to do is theorize, based on the storyline's perspective, why Rockstar never had him mentioned in uh, Red Dead Redemption, uh, four years after the story of Red Dead Redemption 2 in 1911. And one of the big reasons why I want to cover this is I've been getting a ton of questions from you guys on my Facebook page asking me, why is Arthur never mentioned in Red Dead Redemption? Can you find Arthur's grave in Red Dead Redemption? So a lot of people have been asking me to cover this. If you would like me to cover similar topics or other mysteries or secrets, my Facebook page is in the description. Send me a message on there. Uh, you can shoot me videos, photos, stuff like that. It's super easy to communicate with you guys on there. I love getting to interact with you, sharing stories. And uh, some of you guys come up with the ideas that we, we get to do in videos. So that's obviously really neat. But anyways, let's dive back into the main topic of today's video and trying to figure out why Arthur was never mentioned. And we only get to experience Red Dead Redemption through John Marston's eyes. We don't get to play as any other character other than Jack in the epilogue. So I think the first thing we can start with is John Marston's personality. John Marston played his cards very close to the vest. And uh, he was very shy about talking about his past through the entire game. I mean, even during the entire first act, he only ever talks about Bill Williamson when he's probed by Bonnie McFarlane or the Marshal. So it seems as if it's something he doesn't really love talking about. And he doesn't mention Javier at all until he realizes that Bill had run off to Mexico. And whenever he talks about Dutch, he almost mentions him with a disgust because he doesn't actually mention him by his name. He only refers to him as like our leader or my mentor. And it's only until uh, later on when Dutch is a big part of the story. So those are just a couple examples right there of characters that were featured predominantly in Red Dead Redemption. So now that you know that, I think it would make sense why John wouldn't talk about Arthur, whether he was alive or dead when he barely even talks about the members of the gang that he's chasing down. Now again, getting back to the thing I mentioned at the beginning of this video, obviously Arthur hadn't been written yet, but also John had no reason to talk about him regardless because he really wasn't the focus of the story and John wasn't the sort of reminiscing type. He only really talked about his old members of the gang when they were brought up by other characters, like what we mentioned earlier, Bonnie, Marshall, or even later on, Jack would sometimes talk about them. Now, you might also be wondering, well, why doesn't John talk about other characters like Sadie or Charles or Micah, Pearson or Lenny or Karen, a lot of the other members of the gang? Well, it's because in Red Dead Redemption 2, I think their stories were wrapped up. You know, we can assume Sadie went to the Caribbean and became like a bounty hunter or, you know, a bodyguard for a gold mine. Uh, Charles ended up talking about going to Canada. We know that Pearson runs the general store in Rhodes. So all of those stories sort of got wrapped up. Uh, so it wouldn't make sense for John to talk about them either. Now, I think Rockstar actually planted a little bit of a seed here as to why John never talks about Arthur, because in the epilogue, there's a lot of moments at Beecher's Hope where you can have interactions with Uncle and Jack and Abigail. And pretty much any time Arthur is brought up, Abigail will start to cry. So I think that's also another reason why John doesn't talk about him because he knows whenever he brings it up, it makes Abigail sad. So it's something that he just might ignore altogether. Take a listen to a couple of these examples right here. Arthur, he saved us, didn't he? You remember that time? Not much, I, I was only little. Uh, he did save us, yeah. None of us would be here today if it wasn't for Arthur. But your pa don't like talking about him. 
Ain't that right, John? The past is gone. We've left that behind. I saved us a little, too, you know. Did you? Well, I'm, uh, grateful, sir. You're my family, boy. Okay, well, I'll leave you to it, then. Okay, then. Why would you say that? It's true, ain't it? I'll talk about them. It's just what is there to say? Don't mind me. Thanks, John. Quite the bookworm we got. Ah, well, he'll never earn a living. You fools just about managed. You can hardly read. John found himself a good woman. She saved him. John saved me. I say Charles. So it goes. <laughs> so it all starts with a good woman. It all starts with a good woman. John Marston is the luckiest man alive. Arthur told me that a long time ago. <laughs> Finally, old man, you... You made me cry. <laughs> John Marston, you are the luckiest son of a bitch that ever lived. You're getting mighty sentimental, old man. You about to die? Me? <laughs> Never. And on a personal level for John Marston, we know that he was incredibly close with Arthur and that he was like a brother to him. So maybe the reason he doesn't talk about him is because it's also painful for him to even mention Arthur. So I think... All of those reasons right there are a good summary of why he's not brought up. Of course, we know the underlying answer is, again, because he hadn't been written yet as a character. But it's still fun to speculate. It's still fun to come up with reasons as to why he never was brought up in Red Dead Redemption. So that is why I believe Arthur Morgan is never mentioned in Red Dead Redemption by John Marston. Now, getting to the second part of what a lot of you guys were asking me, can you find Arthur Morgan's grave? Now, this is something that chronologically would make sense. However, you need to remember the Red Dead Redemption map does not extend to where Arthur Morgan was buried. Arthur Morgan was buried in like the Grizzlies or in New Hanover, somewhere in there. And the furthest that the Red Dead Redemption map extends is into West Elizabeth, where like Blackwater would be and Konashe. So places like that, that's as far as it goes. You know, the other areas of the map were not available at that time. So, no, it is not possible to find Arthur's grave because the location in which his grave is located is not in Red Dead Redemption. That's the simple answer right there. And honestly, that's probably one of the reasons why Arthur was buried in the spot that he was, so that it would make sense in Red Dead Redemption that John wouldn't be able to go to his grave because it wasn't a part of the map yet. I mean, I guess you could say the same thing about every character in Red Dead Redemption 2. I don't think a single one is buried in New Austin or a part of the original Red Dead Redemption map. And even the characters we don't get to see, like Jenny and Davey and Mac, uh, they aren't really buried in places that you can find either. So I guess that's what Rockstar just wanted to do to make things simple and to avoid any confusion. But anyways, that right there is the real reason why I believe John Marston never mentioned Arthur Morgan in Red Dead Redemption or any of the other characters for that matter. Abigail doesn't when we finally get back to Beecher's Hope. Jack never does, even though he brings up moments from the old story. Like he'll talk about sitting around the campfire listening to... Dutch and Bill and Javier, but he'll never mention Arthur. So I don't know what the argument would be for Jack. Maybe he was too young to remember Arthur, even though he had a really, really good relationship with him. Like they went fishing together and Jack certainly thought of Arthur as like a, a second father to a degree. So I don't really know how to explain that one, but that's my reasoning for why John uh, never brings up Arthur in Red Dead Redemption. I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments down below. Do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? Do you think there's some other reasons? Let me know your thoughts, opinions, and more in the comments down below. 
If you did gonna enjoy this video though, a like rating would of course be awesome. And subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new, or you like daily Red Dead Redemption 2 videos like this. With all the way guys, like I said, thanks so much for watching, take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.